you to be one. If you wouldn't let the door open on Mars, no one would know about our hideout. And now I gotta delete everything on here before they find out about the amusement park. I don't want any lines. Oh, uh, our uh, friends are here. Hey everyone, and welcome to Group Builders, the show where we create together. I'm your host, Disorderly Cone. Um, I wasn't about to destroy anything of Mars equipment. Uh, I was about to fix it. <coughs> In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Mars Perseverance and Ingenuity Helicopter and telling you everything you need to know to get this thing built, like what tools you're going to need, where the tricky bits, and how all those assemblies come together to create the rover. These are all great questions, Groovers, and we're going to get the answers. Uh, let's get down to the workbench uh, while I uh, fix this rover. Yeah. And boom, there we have it. All 11 pages needed to complete our Mars Rover Perseverance and Ingenuity Helicopter. These instructions look intense, and that's because they are. But don't worry, it's only rocket surgery, or I should say rover surgery. Anyway, let's take a closer look. The first thing we're gonna take a look at is our helicopter and tell you everything you need to know to get the details made and our tabs secured. Next, we'll look at our back and neck details of our rover and show you how to get the proper formings. And finally, we'll talk about those infamous wheels and tell you a trick on how to make that part easy and how to get all those assemblies together. Groovers, there's a lot of small, intricate details here to form and getting them all just right will require some special tools. Let's check in with our tool expert to see what he recommends. Uh, Timothy? I told you an automatic door opener would be best, but no one listens to me. <sighs> the Metal Earth Mars Rover Perseverance and Ingenuity Helicopter is by far one of the most intricate builds yet. But with the right tools, this build will be a lot easier for you. The tools I recommend are... Nippers, tweezers, mandrills, and pliers. Now, when do you want me to install the automatic door opener? Okay, and that should do it. All right. Thanks, Timothy. Now, as always, these are just our suggestions, and you never really need anything but nippers and tweezers to get the job done. But of course, having all the right tools will make everything a lot easier for you. All right, now we've looked at our instructions and we have all our tools. There's only one thing left for you to do, and that's to press that like and subscribe button. We're currently trying to get to 4,000 subscribers and really could use your help. Uh, no pressure at all though, just uh, that red button down there. Yeah, yeah, no, no pressure at all, just a uh, red button. Not like we're running out of air or need energy, you know, to get back to Earth or anything like that. Nope. Oh! Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. We got all kinds of really cool builds coming out in the future and knowing that you're gonna be here is kind of awesome. All right, Groovers, let's not waste any more time. Let's get down to the workbench and build this rover. The Metal Earth Mars Rover Perseverance and Ingenuity Helicopter is easily one of the most detailed and involved builds released by Fascinations. This build will pretty much have you doing everything from cones to basic boxes in sizes big to extremely small. In this video, we're just going over some of the key points of this kit, but if you're looking for the full detail build, look no further than the parts 1 through 8 available in our space playlist. Now, after cutting out our pieces and ensuring that there's no burrs, we start with our helicopter. At first, this little guy doesn't seem all that difficult. All we need to do is make some of the boxes and connect our tabs with a good twist. I don't know if it's the way I built this, or because the helicopter is so small, but for whatever the reason, I found my helicopter connections to be very loose, and loose parts are no good. To help combat loose parts, I found by twisting and then bending my tabs over, my parts were secured and far less likely to fall out, especially when it comes to our two propellers. Take your time here and ensure that every connection is tight before moving on to the next step. Having a little bit of movement in our propellers is okay, because after all, it is a helicopter, but too much and it will affect the model. 
as I mentioned earlier, twisting then bending your tabs is definitely something you want to do and remember for later when dealing with all of these small parts. Speaking of small parts, our helicopter is looking ready to fly. Let's move on to our rover. The Perseverance is made up of a whole bunch of different assemblies that once attached together create our rover. These assemblies have various different pieces to them and some of them are harder than others. Let's take a look at a few starting with our back. We start by bending parts 9 and 11. By taking our tweezers and matching the sides up so that they have no gaps, we can get our two pillars just like this. Next, we bend part 10 and connect them together with a twist. Remember to alternate the way we twist our tabs to have a better connection. After creating our border and attaching the other smaller details, we need to work on cylinder part 28. Personally, I found it best to bend all 8 parts of 29 and then pre-bend 28 before attaching them together. This way, we avoid any hot spots in the metal caused by the tabs we've already secured. You'll be quite surprised how easy it is to get hot spots if you bend it the other way. Okay, we're looking pretty good, but we need to put that onto our assembly. The key with this piece and a lot of other details that we're going to be forming is to make sure that we are putting it on in the proper orientation. I found that with this build, it was very easy to mistakenly place a piece on the wrong way and you wouldn't necessarily know it until you go to attach something else onto that part. Our rover requires a lot of time, patience and observation to make sure that everything is just right. Let's grab part 34 and start putting all of our assemblies on our back together. Start with our cylinder, and then we grab that lower half. And finally, we need to grab these border pieces, some quick twists, and our back details look great! Let's move on to our neck and head detail. For me, this was the second most difficult part of our build. We start off by bending our ribbon parts into cylinders. I found the best way to get consistent cylinder shapings is to use a tool like my mandrel here and press the pieces into it making sure to bend every part of the metal. This way we avoid any teardrop shapings that can make getting our tabs into their holes complicated. Outside of this, the extra details that we're going to add onto our cylinders are pretty simple to form. Where we run into issues is connecting all of our pieces together securely. Given how some of our details are shaped and connected together, grabbing as much of the tabs in your tweezers as possible can be extremely hard at times. This is why twisting then bending your tabs like I mentioned earlier is a good idea to secure all of your tabs. Lastly, the head has us doing some interesting forms. The detail here is layered and parts 60 and 66, at least for me, had a really hard time lining up correctly. I'm not too sure if I misbent part 66, but for whatever reason, part 60 and 66 were pushing off of each other, making everything look a little cockeyed. In order to be able to secure the head, I had to really work these two pieces together, and I found in the end, I still had a little bit of a lean. Looking at other builds, I've noticed that theirs doesn't have this problem, so I must have missed something. It's always a good idea to double and triple check your work before moving on to the next step. Even experienced builders like myself make these kinds of mistakes. Uh, speaking of which, uh, let's move on to our final point, the wheels. These guys at the beginning don't look overly difficult, but just like raisin cookies pretending to be a chocolate chip, they have some nasty surprises. For our first set of wheels, we'll need to combine parts 116, 117, and 118 onto our assemblies. Our wheels are attached by these three tabs in the center, and the tracks being placed over 116 and 117 are connected on the top according to the instructions. Now, I did do this the first time as per the instructions, and I have to say, trying to secure the tabs at the top of the track while having the previous assembly over top is nearly impossible. Instead, I found it was way easier to attach all of our wheels together first and then attach them onto the side assembly. This way, the only tabs that we need to secure are the three in the middle, taking all the fuss out of the previous steps. This one trick will save you a ton of tinker time and we'll allow you to get back to forming some of those other details. Speaking of which, let's see a few more and then put all this together.
Boom, there we have it. The Mars Perseverance and Ingenuity Helicopter all complete. This build was a lot of fun, but also very complicated with all of its detail. I mean, as you saw, we had over eight parts and it took me quite a bit of time to be able to put all this together. This is definitely a build you don't want to rush just because of all that very unique and tiny detail. Even as you see here, I have to be kind of careful in how I hold it because some of the details weren't connected as well as they could have been. And that technique of twisting and then bending the tabs is definitely something you're gonna to wanna to use here. At the end of the day, Groovers, I really can't recommend this build for new builders out there, even for intermediate ones. This is a build that I've been looking forward to for a long time, and it's something that definitely in the Reddit community we've been screaming for. A really nice detailed build, but in asking for it, we definitely got it. And this is one, again, that you want to approach with caution and make sure that you have all of your techniques down and mastered before attempting in order to be able to give it its full glory. All right, Groovers, that brings to the end of our show. I had a really good time building the Mars Perseverance and Ingenuity Helicopter with you. And if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well. We've got all kinds of really cool content coming out in the future, and I would love to have you there with us. Want to build the rover and support the channel too? Check out groupbuilders.ca. We have all kinds of really cool models on there at great prices with fast shipping to the United States and Canada. Until next time, Groovers, keep building. All right, GB1, now I want to install that automatic door lock before we have any more problems.